I'm gonna try and push through this center. Not the bishop, not the bishop. Okay, let's just grab this pawn. Oh, aggressive situation. Don't mind doubling the pawns here, I don't think. I think I'll be okay. Computer probably says otherwise, so we'll have a look at the evaluation afterwards. I'm gonna grab. Try to keep it simple. This is a long game. I'm playing it a little bit quick here, so I need to slow down just a little bit. And so I don't think I'm castling on the king side. I think I'm going to start moving my pieces out. Maybe potentially going for a queen side castling. And the opponent could actually come down. Well, maybe not that way. Maybe this way. This way. Okay, so they're straight using the bishop again to attack. Open up the queen area, so is he looking to sort of like win some type of tempo? I'm actually just going to bring the bishop in here and block. It's going to take a few moves to get queenside castling. If I go and trade, then his rook is blocking my king's castling potential. The right elements are still being able to go and attack this side. We could just bring the pin through just to open up, developing our pieces as best possible. Potential for here or here, or even kingside castling now. It doesn't look too scary. Now he's kingside castled. Probably okay. Elements of that and that and that. Just grab this knight just to double the pawns up. So that makes us feel okay. So they're moving really quick. So I don't want to fall into that trap of moving quick. It's a long play game. It's dead easy to fall into that trap. At the minute, potential for this coming here. We do have hassling rights. Push on to the bishop. I'm not trying to rush into the castling at this moment because I've lost tempo. So I'm trying to gain tempo back. It's realistically potentially looking at the queenside castling, but now he's got this file here. I may just end up kingside castling. I'm not too sure. Um, because I've lost the tempo, I'm attacking their piece again. So that I can get settled. Potential looking for a good capture, but then the king is in the open. It does take, so it looks like we're going to be um, 20 pointer, not bothered about that. Queen takes, king takes, and then we can start owning the file potentially with the rooks. Okay, so there, so the rooks are going to come and attack. No, interesting times. So they're attacking the B pawn, always for the B pawn, but I think we have won the tempo back in terms of position on the board, as far as I can see. So I'm going to just push through here. So pretty simple. All the moves we've done so far are pretty simple, straightforward. And now our king is airy, but I think it's a flexible king. It's going to be an aggressive king. He's not focused on attacking our king at all, so I, I do believe they are losing tempo by doing that type of maneuver. Which is good for us. I'm actually going to grab. Wow, they're moving so fast, it's unreal. I don't want to fall into that trap because we're looking for better position on the board. 
and I'm hoping just going to attack the rook gets the rook off of that file and their position won't be as good as they thought because they've also got a pawn under attack which is here so now he's gone for an x-ray through we can always push the pawn up to defend if we push the pawn up then he can push his pawn down so if we bring the king up as an aggressive king as we said active king in this situation it's had more advanced up the board than their king so if it gets towards the finishing of the game potentially the king might help us out but he does have these two pieces under attack now so does he take or does he come back here to attack here and defend the pawn got plenty of time in this game and it's a five second increment as well it's a 30 minute game So it's brought the rook down to defend. So in our type of mantra, the rooks don't have any place in the centre of the board. And it's got both rooks in the centre of the board now. So I'm feeling fairly comfortable that we're just going to whip this rook off the board. Because this rook was under attack. So that was nothing magical that we've done there. The opponents um, negated the fact that their piece was under attack. So we could come and attack their rook. See what he wants to do. Thinking if we came and attacked, he takes, rook takes. He's got a flexible knight. Yeah. This pawn's got no protection on it, but it just drops the pawn there. So I'm just going to go for a simplification and attack his rook. opponents on 28 minutes so they've not really gone that far they've moved really really fast but as we're always trying to maintain we're trying to get this positional play situation working for us we're currently working on the creative thinking logicalizing the creative thinking aspect of our games it looks like the opponent may have lost the oh they've resigned okay so that was an interesting game a um, little bit fast for me, I really wanted to play a longer game just to practice the um, the system and this kind of game highlights uh, moving fast doesn't always get you the better positions.